what is up, Aquarius? Uh, this is your July 21st to the 27th reading. But if you're finding this at any point after that, um, and the title brought you in, there's a message here for you. I truly believe that. Keep in mind, I'm not God. I don't, um, nothing is set in stone. Everybody has free will. I'm just reading the vibe. I'm just reading the energy for this week. Vibes can change. Um, energy is fluid. So just keep that in mind. If you're interested in a personal reading and you want a personal reading, a, you know, specific question answered, I do offer those on Etsy. Um, you ask a question specifically to me, I will answer it um, in a 15 minute recorded, pre recorded reading using the cards. I'll answer it to the best of my ability. If that's something you're interested in, that's in the description below. If you want a one on one with me via Zoom, I only give those out to patrons of a certain tier. Uh, my Patreon is linked in the description below. And um, yeah, that's really it. That's all I got to say about that. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Um, I hope you all had a good week last week. My Aquarii friends. I have a couple Aquarius friends. Y'all are ruthless sometimes. <laughs> Love it though. Okay. Um, okay. The, what is what is with today? I don't understand. A lot of threes. So I don't know this is the three of pentacles in reverse. That is a about the three of pentacles upright is about community working together. Obviously, we're not working with people right now, um, or we don't want to, or we were working with somebody who we realized we um, should not be collaborating with, or we were collaborating with somebody who didn't have our best interest at heart. Or we were trying to build a foundation with somebody in any type of relationship setting that we realized the foundation wasn't really there or it, we were unable to build it. Take it as it resonates. That's what's coming up. Seven of Cups in reverse. This is a common theme too, actually, this week, along with all these threes. This is seeing a situation for what it is. Um, but still having to make some sort of decision in regards to that decision, I mean, in, in regards to that situation, uh, this is a tough decision, very tough decision, possibly being stuck in a decision, like, po it's not in reverse, but it's like possibly being at a stalemate. And I feel like the decision is like, you're trying to make it from the head, but you really need to make it from your intuition and your gut. Um, and I don't think you're realizing that. <laughs> God bless me. Um, I'm going to get a bunch of comments now saying, God bless you. Thank you. Uh, the Queen of Wands is in reverse, which is about... That's going to be really... Let me figure out what that's about, because I don't think it's about what I normally say the Queen of Wands in reverse is about in this particular situation. So let me try to figure that out before I run my trap I try to be as careful as possible but you know I'm not perfect I don't always get it right if this resonates though there's definitely a message here you're definitely um your judgment's no longer clouded about a situation at the very least you're seeing a situation for for what it is and possibly now that you've seen the situation for what it is you are ready to move forward um this could po this could possibly be about moving too, but um, like for anybody out there who's thinking of moving specifically, that's very specific. It doesn't have to be though, but it's like you're ready to 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 um, move to like this is moving to calmer waters. Also, again with that three of pentacles that was at the bottom of the deck in reverse, it's like you're ready to seek help from other people. Um, you know what I mean? After seeing maybe another person for... It's like, I saw this person for who they truly are. Or this situation for what it truly is. 
Now I need a little bit of help either getting out of this situation, making this decision in regards to this situation. What is this? This I'm feeling is about some sort of conflict, conflict with others. So I think you had, this is the four of wands in reverse, by the way, if you can't see it. I think you maybe had some sort of conf conflict with somebody that you're trying to move away from now. You're trying not to have that con conflict with this person. Um, but you may be stuck in how to go about moving forward. Do I move forward with this person or do I move away from this person? Now that I see this thing or situation, this person for who they are or what it is, which way do I go, George? <laughs> you know? Let me see this Queen of Wands, though. Before I say anything about it. Okay. All right. Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. This could be a person that you're dealing with or just maybe business dealings in general. Something happen happening at the workplace, possibly. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. This is about consistency. So you're trying to to bring possibly consistency back into this situation because I feel as though twos can be about balance too. So it's like you're maybe trying to make the right decision to, to balance out the situation in some way. Um, or balance out the relationship or whatever after some sort of conflict. Like, this is conflict. We are not celebrating here. This is conflict. Can also be... Uh, no, I'm seeing that as conflict. That's how I would take this. This Queen of Wands in reverse uh, with this Empress right here, these two cards, I would say are about... Um, well, the Empress is about co-creating. I feel like you're making possibly you're stuck between this like co-creating with this person that you see now for who they are and yourself, whatever that means, right? Should I be single or should I continue to push forward with this person? Whatever it is, the good news is you're, you're, you're going to choose to, 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 you're going to choose, you're going to choose peace after a, t a tumultuous situation, Right. Um, you, at the very least, you want to choose peace, the most peaceful situation, the most, the most cohesive situation, right? Or decision that's going to bring you out of the rough waters. Let me take a sip. Um, at the very least, what's at the bottom? Did I read that? Yeah. Let me see. Let me pull three more cards and see what the fuck. Like, I pull these cards. I don't have them in any specific spot or anything like that. I just kind of try to read it like it's a, really, like it's a picture book or a story and piece it together. That's how it works for me. That's how I've always done it from the beginning. Oh! No, that came out like this. Whatever came out in this situation that made you see it for what it is, whatever came out about this person that made you see them for who they are, whatever unclouded your judgment was a, was like a sign from the universe. Again, judgment. It's about making it's about listening to the call from the universe, taking the fucking call. The universe is like Brrr! Aquarius. All right, we've showed you this person's true colors. Now it's your now it's your chance to show us that you've grown enough to make the decision that is going to bring you peace. Like brrr, Aquarius, we showed you uh you know that <clears throat> the truth about this uh we've unclouded your judgment in some way. Um that will allow you to f finally 
take the the I mean it's a rough trip this is not the six of swords is not an easy card it's like moving on from depression or pushing on from depression or pushing on from some sort of uh, tumultuous situation or whatever right um, but it's still that push and you still need help getting there getting to the calmer waters but at the very least you're on your way to the calmer waters this is saying like the universe is out here like are you gonna answer Aquarius Aquarius here we are here 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 it is right in your face we've shown you what the the real real is and now you gotta show us your growth Uh, what is this two of swords and four of wands? <laughs> Lord, whatever this decision is, you got the justice card at the bottom of the deck. And I kept feeling that too. I didn't want to say it, but I kept feeling it. I'm like, this is like giving me justice vibes like blind justice right like making a blind decision but possibly when you don't need to be making a blind decision i feel like decisions made from our head are always blind decisions we have to make decisions more often from our gut from our knowing trusting the universe you know what i mean the universe doesn't speak to our heads it speaks to our hearts i know that i feel that if you meditate, you feel that too, right? Um, you are trying to make a decision using your mental faculties, which is how we're told we need to make decisions, which is great. Sometimes we do need to analyze and this and that. But you're feeling probably stuck in this decision be because, because of that. And now you're worried. You could possibly be losing sleep at night in regards to this situation. I don't know. You tell me. There is something that is key, either key, literally keeping you up at night or just worrisome thoughts in regards to this situation, right? <clears throat> <sighs> Thank you. That was a really good burp. I just got to say. Very good burp. And the justice is like saying like, there needs to be a balance. I want to say there needs to be a balance between your intuition and your and, and your mental faculties. A lot of the times we don't think that our mental faculties and like the mental and the gut and emotional can really be in harmony. The justice in this situation I would be saying I, I would say is saying you got to find that 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 balance and once you that middle ground is that place where you can finally you know move do what you gotta do uh let's see what this queen of wands i still don't understand what this queen of wands and empress is about and that wanted to come out okay i'm still not understanding You, you're possibly stuck or maybe in the past the Wheel of Fortune came out at the bottom of the deck um, in reverse. So it's like stuck or things not working out in your favor in some way. Um, probably in the past. This is the Six of Cups. This is a thinking. But this is thinking good thoughts about the past, right? So I don't know if... I'm going to have to pull more cards to clarify but the Queen of Wands in reverse for me is about building your inner confidence. And then the Empress is that level up bad bitch energy, right? Um, the Empress is in a place of co-creation. At all times, she is fertile. Like, she's fertile within the universe. So the Empress is really good at manifesting, really good at creating um her juices are flowing 
in every sense of the word, like fertile in the sense that if you want to get pregnant, you could get pregnant, but also fertile in the sense of like whatever you are trying to create will be created if you are in Empress energy. She also doesn't chase. The Empress does not chase after people. The Empress sits on her throne and knows that that's that what's meant for her will find her and will come to her because the empress is the most worthy bitch on the planet the empress is every queen in the tarot wrapped up in one i'm every woman that's the empress so i don't know if you're trying to get to that point or maybe in the past you felt yourself being there um I mean, the Six of Cups with the Empress, maybe somebody's pregnant or trying to get pregnant or, or I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this ties into this. Like I, what connects these energies? Let's see that. Let's ask that question. What is connecting these energies? Okay. Hmm. Queen of Swords. This is about, again, creating healthy boundaries for ourselves, right? And that's what's connecting everything. So, okay. So whatever situation you have going on that might be causing you this anxiety that you might be stuck in, it's like once you create these healthy boundaries, once you create and, and, and protect and defend yourself right and learn um that you you are in charge and in control of of how other people treat you because you can create those boundaries and if people step over them you queen of swords have that power with that sword that you yield to cut either cut them or cut them off and it's like once you fucking realize that then you level you level the fuck up that's where your inner confidence comes from. That's where that empress energy comes from. It comes from in this situation with whoever this or whatever this is, this tumultuous situation that you're needing to move to calmer waters from, some sort of decision needing to be made. The decision that you need to make is to at the very least create the boundaries to protect yourself. That's what I'm getting from this because that queen is the queen of swords is like it's so funny because the empress is all emotion the empress is all um in touch with her emotions sometimes she could be overly emotional the queen of swords mm -mm. and again with the justice and the two of swords it's like they're neat like i said there needs to be that balance but you can be emotional and be in your emotions, but also you need to strategically use your poker face, not in a stone cold bitch sort of way, but in a strategic, I mean, business sort of way and set boundaries with people, Aquarius, which is weird for me to be talking to Aquarii about this because y'all don't seem like you have issues setting boundaries and putting people in their place, but there is a specific situation where you are possibly needing to do that. Like now that you've seen the situation for what it is, your judgment call is at the very least put these people in their place, whatever that means to you, whether that means cutting them the fuck off. Um, let me see what this six of cups is. Okay, okay, so maybe in the past, maybe this is just saying in the past, there was a lack of progress. A pa in the past, things were halted. In the past, you might not have had it down packed. But right now, let me pull one more card for that, because... That'd be confusing as fuck. 
bitch. No, nope, I'm not taking those. That wasn't that. I'm telling you, I'm learning to trust which cards to take, when to take them, and when not to take them. It's a feeling. It's weird. I don't know. Nope. Oh, are, watch those be the same cards I didn't see. Yeah, no. There it is. <sighs> yeah. There's a situation you're either needing to move on from or push forward. Right? A person, possibly. But it's like, it's it's almost this energy of like, make the choice for yourself to create certain boundaries or put people in their place. Let people know about themselves. If somebody offended you or somebody like, again, you're seeing somebody for what it is, what they are. If somebody offended you or whatever, you're needing to speak up. Right? Because the, the Queen of Swords, swords are all about communication too. Can, they can be. Um, especially the Queen and King. They speak their truth. They say what's on their mind. And they say it articulately, if that's even a word. They articulate in a respectful but assertive way. You need to assert yourself in some sort of situation. And once you do that, Page of Pentacles... This is you have making progress. You know, I feel like possibly in the past you didn't defend yourself or something like that in a, in a, in a similar situation or maybe with, with the same person. Take it as it resonates. But this, this time, this go around, the universe is literally saying your decision, the choice that you need to be making, the right one for you, is to put this person finally in their place or this thing finally in its place I feel like it's a person I feel like there's somebody you need to put in their place um let me see what's at the bottom of the deck oh yeah like I said and then bulldoze the fuck past them past the situation again six of swords is a movement card about moving on from from the adversity to better better days are coming type of thing chariot is progress progressing through the adversity the when i think of the chariot i think of the kool-aid man you know the kool-aid whatever the fuck his name is how he busts through the door and he's like there here i am it's like that's the chariot's energy is like the chariot is not stopping for any obstacle in its way it will either bulldoze past the, the obstacles like they never existed like not to say there aren't obstacles but the chariot's energy is like strong energy pushing through that's the energy you need to be in and I feel like part of that is again or most of that is speaking up you can't be an empress and have that inner confidence and that inner knowing that you a bad bitch. If you're not putting people in their fucking place. If you're not telling people about themselves. Like, hey, no, you don't disrespect me like that. Do you know who the fuck I am? I'm a motherfucking empress, bitch. Know who you're talking to. Know who you're acting on. Like, you know what I mean? That type of shit. So you will, you're going to put them in their place and you're going to see, you know, once you do that, I feel like doors open up, you possibly get some sort of um, new offer, like, you know what I mean? You're going to assert yourself in some sort of situation that's going to then, once you assert yourself, bring you some sort of blessing. It's a beautiful thing. Um, that's all I got for you, Aquarius. I hope that makes some sort of sense. I love you all very much. Until next week, peace out, everybody.